This is a reading and a look at the energies here for us in August. But before we start for August, I must comment on July, the month that has just been, because it was a really, really heavy month energetically. Did you feel it? There was just so much heaviness in the air. It was really intense, um, not to mention a lot of negative events happening um, around the world. So this is just a reminder. So bringing in the angel energy now as it comes in. Beautiful energy now. Feeling the light. So spontaneously the energies uh, of the angels just come through and I just saw the number 44. So what I want to say is that the light is there for us that there are solutions, there is a way, there's a path for you when you feel like you're really stuck and you don't know where you're heading and you just feel like at a loss uh, when things get a little bit too much, know that there's always a light. Sometimes it's just a little flicker um, or you know you might be able to see a little bit through the cracks but it's always there. Now bringing in that light and growing it and making it bigger. So that's what the angels are saying. So in this card here, they're talking about energy moving upwards and spiraling upwards. So, and also I'm drawn now to the number seven, being a very spiritual number. So this number is, what I'm feeling from this card now is the angels saying that it is up to you to create and be a master of your own destiny. You're the one who guides and steers your chariot. So put in that energy to intend for everything positive that you want in your life. So if you're seeing things in a negative way and if that's what you're focusing on, so if this is you and you're stuck in this mental conflict, and trust me, you are not alone because I've been there. Um, then know that there is a solution and an answer. So now I'm drawn to this yellow section here. See the light that's coming in, okay? And also it's a reference to the crown chakra, the area on top of the head. The crown chakra is the energy center where you are connected to the divine, to God, to divinity. You're connected to all things. When you're too much in the brain, in the mind, thinking, using your logic and rationale, uh, then it's harder to connect to the divine. So that's what that's showing me here. I also see a lot of stress and tension. So anxiety, tension, a lot of thinking, a lot of thoughts, worries, concerns, uh, stress. So just peeling back those layers now and allowing the light to come in. You can intend for things to manifest and be as you want them to be. So you can literally flip things around and create things as you want to. By setting a clear intention, you can will and bring on the energy of change. So that's how I want to start the reading off today. And I just saw the number 333, again, another beautiful, magical, um, angelic number. It's also saying that the Ascended Masters are here with us. So I'm feeling right now Jesus very strongly and Mother Mary, many Ascended Masters circling around us. So just take a moment now and feel your angels uh, and other beings of light around you. So the message also is to change your thoughts into happy ones. See how this is all aligned? Okay, so while all these things are happening around the world or around you, um, while there are challenging times here, okay, what's significant right now is what I'm drawn to is number five representing change so there's a lot of change and transformation happening around the world you're seeing a lot of negative things but everything is changing evolving growing okay there is definitely the sense of a lot of um, darkness has been amplified so I felt that really strongly in July so we're probably going to be feeling the trickling effects of that still um, and it depends on you how you choose to take that. I just saw the number 444 again representing the angels are with us very strongly. Um, so challenging times just feels like feels like this heavy 
feels like you have all this armor are you carrying armor on you are you carrying uh, baggage emotional baggage are you carrying toxic emotions steer heavy heavy thoughts okay so time to turn those around those challenging times around those turbulent times okay i'm seeing the fire there so again possibly representing something happening in the world energetically um to do with fire transmutation um some kind of negative event but of course also can just be something around you okay so see how this person has this bubble around them so this is a reminder now for you to stay centered in your bubble in your bubble of light it feels like inside that bubble is very silent and protective even though inside um, that armor I see this kind of face okay stressed concerned anxious heavy so this is time now to visualize a, an aura of light around you like in this picture here a bubble of light see the light coming in have that light pour in above you above your crown chakra now and down your body cascading around okay it's time to step into your power it was very hard and challenging in july you might have felt the duality the two forces the dark and the light you may have felt that you cannot be fully whole, fully yourself, that you were too immersed in the lower energies and that that invaded you and got you um, and took over. Okay, so now it's time to wake up that power and that light to bring it out. Okay, and also the number eight significant here also as August this month uh, numerologically is an eight, year, eight month. Uh, in a nine year so nine is about releasing this year letting go all this karma and unresolved stuff um, and eight is a positive sign um, a positive sign of bringing bringing back your power and actually it is connected to power and control so bringing that back um, okay so this also relates to manifestation the number eight um, so bringing back that power also relates to using your spiritual gifts and your natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Okay. So take notice of any signs that you may see or hear. What are you hearing with your physical ears? Even listen to the music that's playing right now. Allow that to vibrate in a moment. Okay. And again, that crown chakra that I've mentioned is very, very, very pronounced. Okay, so feeling that music as it's transmuta transmuting and feeling right now any energy that you've been lingering and harboring onto. Now just for a moment of peace. And pay attention to that beautiful divine feeling of peace that you have right now. And that silence. So go within that silence. And see if there's any divine guidance or messages for you personally. And as the music builds up again. You're building up your power and your resilience. You're opening up your throat chakra to express yourself. Okay, this has been really important energy, which has been heightening in recent times. When you stand your ground, then you and you become and you're grounded and see that fire energy behind that. Okay, so soul that might also relate to solar um, eclipse or um, flare energy. Okay, and that fire energy of transmutation. Use your spiritual power, that number seven, your spirituality, to rise above and to conquer any negative energy. Okay, because fairness and justice will prevail. Okay, now this is reminding me right now of all that crazy circus politics going on, especially in the States. Um, I can't handle watching it. It just only seems so fake. Um, and I know that it is all an illusion. Okay, but the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner in any other situation um, that calls to your attention. So holding up that candle of truth, the scales of justice, and the dove of peace and truth and enlightenment, knowing that um, history will be fairly um, adjusted and settled, okay, for triumphant success. So allow that to inspire you. See how that arm's coming out of the ground? That's where you've been, okay, in the ground, stuck. And now holding up the sword of light and truth. See the light? And then see that sort of fiery, again, that purpley, orangey 
um, energy, okay? You hold up that sword and you decide. Okay, I'm gonna sign off now, um, but just know that I have a newsletter that comes out every month and that can be emailed to you for free. And I always put in there lots of angelic guidance and spiritual articles um, and messages. So the link's below if you'd like to um, subscribe. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening. Thanks for joining me every month. And I look forward to continuing to uh, share my light um, and messages with you.